Hello kids, and today we have three amazing games. So let's play our first game. Let's start. And today we're gonna learn about the numbers, about the clock, and we also gonna solve this puzzle. So let's start. Oh no, where did they go? We don't have numbers and we don't have puzzles, but we have crayons. And in these crayons, we have those numbers and puzzles. So let's open them. And the first crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the orange one. So let's do, let's shake it and open. Wow, how many things we have. So we have also the shapes, the puzzles and the numbers. Oh, that's interesting. So let's start with the puzzles. And we have here, three puzzles, one, two, and three. So let's turn around them like this. Okay, and here we have the face of the tiger and you can see that the tiger is smiling. So this is the corner piece. So we can place it here, we can fit it here, we can put it here, or we can place it here. So I think this one could go right now here and then later we can move it's somewhere else. So the next puzzle that we have is with the ladybug and it's also the corner piece. So we need to place somewhere on the puzzle board. I think right now let's put it right here in the left corner. Great. And the next one we have the puzzle piece that I think it has the maybe the sun or maybe the flower. I don't know. But let's at the moment place it here like this. We need more puzzles so we can start combining them. Great. Let's continue with the numbers. So here we have the number 11. And number 11 goes right after the number 10. But how did, did we know that? We need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Great. And the next one number, we have number four. And we, it goes right after number three here. But let's count. One, two, three and four. Great. Well done. And here we also have the shapes. And this is the yellow color shape. And it has two holes, one and two. So let's place it right now here, like this. And the next one shape that we have is the orange shape and it only has one hole. Let's place it here, great. And this shape is red color shape and it has five holes. One, two, three, four, five, great, amazing. Let's open the next crayon and the next crayon that we're gonna open will be the blue one. Let's shake it. Open it. Wow, how many things we have here. Great. And let's start with the puzzles. So here we have three puzzles. One, two and three. And you can see that we're gonna turn around this puzzle like this. Great, and it is side puzzle, so we can place somewhere on a side. We cannot place this in a corner because it's not the corner piece, but it's a side piece, right? So at the moment, here we have orange leaf. So maybe let's place it here right now and see where we can combine it later. Let's do next one puzzles. And the next one puzzle is also the side puzzle and it has the flower here. So we can place it somewhere on a puzzle board. And let's think where we can place it. Maybe we can combine it with something, but I don't think right now we need still more puzzles to connect them. Okay, let's place right now this puzzle maybe here and see. So the next one puzzle, we can see that there is the part of the tiger and here is the tiger. So. I think this could go maybe here at the moment. Let's place it like that. We still need to find those puzzles that we can connect together like this. 
but at the moment we're still searching for them. Okay, let's continue with the numbers. So the next number that we have is number 12 and number 12 goes right after the number 11 here. But let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great! And next one number, we have number 5 and it goes right after number 4. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we count all together and the number 5 goes right after number 4, here. Great! And next one we have shapes and here we have the red shape and it has 5 holes. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And let's see where we can place the shape. You see we have orange shape, yellow shape and red shape. And this red shape is the same as this one, so we can place like that. Great, well done. And the next shape is a green shape and it has three holes. One, two and three. And let's look at the, those shapes and this one. Does it match? No, so we're gonna place it here. Great. And the next one we have yellow shape. And yellow shape has two holes, so let's try to match. Yes, it matched with this one, so let's put it on top. Great. And let's do the next crayon. So the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the red one. Let's shake it and open. Wow, so many things we have here. And we have puzzles. So let's count how many puzzles we have. One, two, and three. So there is three puzzles. So let's start with this puzzle. Let's turn around. And here you can see we have corner piece puzzle. So we can place somewhere in a corner, right? Maybe here or maybe here. Okay, so let's think where we can place it. Let's try to place it here in this corner. Great. And next one, we have this puzzle. And this puzzle is the flower puzzle. And let's think where we can place. Maybe here, but I already see that we can connect this puzzle with this because there is the part of the flower and here is the part of the flower. So let's try to do it like this. Great, we've combined our first two puzzles. You're doing amazing. So the next puzzle, let's see, we have the part of the tiger. So we can maybe try to place it at the moment here, right? But also, maybe let's try to turn around. And here you see we have another puzzle that we can connect with, like this. Great. And maybe let's turn around this whole puzzle piece and place like this, because here is the ear of the tiger and here is the face. So the ear goes above the tiger face. Great. Let's continue. So the next shape that we have is a green shape and it has three holes one two and three great and let's try to match with our shapes is it match with this one no it's an orange shape does it match with this one no it's a yellow shape does it match with red shape no it's a red shape and this one is green and you can see that this is green shape and this is green shape so let's match them together great and let's take the next one. So the next one that we have is the yellow shape with two holes, one and two. So let's try to match with other shapes. Orange, yellow, no. Yellow shape and yellow shape. Great, well done. And the next shape that we have is the blue shape. And let's count how many holes it has. One, two, three and four. Great, let's try to match here. Is it matching with orange? No. Is it matching with yellow? No, because it's a blue. Is it matching with red? No, because it's a blue. Is it matching? 
No. So this is our new shape that we're gonna place on top here, like this. Great. So we have found new shape and we also combined puzzle pieces and we need to look at this number. So this is number six and it's a yellow color shape. So number six goes right after number five, but let's count one, two, three, four, five and six. Great. We completing this clock and this puzzle and the shapes really fast. You're doing really good. So let's continue with our crayons. So next crayon that we're gonna be, gonna be the green crayon. Let's shake and open. Wow, so many things we have here. But let's start with the puzzle pieces. So here we have three puzzle pieces. One, two, three. Okay, so let's start with this puzzle piece. And let's turn around. And here you can see we have the parrot. And this is the green parrot. And you can see that the green parrot is smiling. And let's think where we can place this on the board. And I can see already that here is the orange leaf. And here is the orange leaf. So maybe if we're gonna turn around them like this and try to combine, yes, it worked, amazing. So maybe let right now place them here. So the puzzle is all about solving those small things, right? And here you can see that the green here is the body of the parrot. So this is this wasn't the sun, it was the body of the parrot. So let's try to combine. Great, well done. And let's take the next puzzle. And the next puzzle that we have is the blue puzzle. So there is the blue, maybe it's a ocean, right? Maybe it's sea, we don't know. But let's try to place it on a board. And you can see that here is also the blue color uh, thing. So we can combine them together like this. Great, well done, amazing. So the next puzzle we have the eyes of the tiger and we already know that the tiger is somewhere here, right? In a corner. So we can combine this puzzle piece and this one. Great, you're doing really well. So let's continue with our shapes. So the next shape that we have is a yellow shape and it has two holes, one, two. So let's try to go through our shape, shape match. Does it match with yellow? No. Does it match with orange? No. Does it match? It's yellow and it has two holes. And these are yellow shapes with two holes. Yes. So we're gonna place it here. Great. And let's take the next one. And the next one we have is a green shape. And it has three holes. Let's count. One, two, and three. Great. Let's go to our shapes and go down. It, does it match with blue shape? No. Does it match with orange shape? No. Does it match with yellow shape? No, it's a green shape. Does it match with red shape? No. Does it match with green shape? Yes. Great. Well done. And let's pick our last shape. And our last shape has four holes. One, two, three, and four. Great. And let's place it here. It's a blue shape and this is the blue shape. So it matches right here. Let's place it on top. Great. And we have left with our number. It's number seven. And you can see it's a shape of the star and it's a pink color. Great. Let's count. So the number seven goes right after number six. So here is the seven. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. And we only left with three crayons. So we have the yellow crayon and we have the pink crayon. So let's open the yellow crayon. And we also have the brown crayon. So let's open the yellow crayon. Wow. So many things we have here. So let's, we have 
Oh, we have five puzzles. Wow. Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. It's going to help us to complete this puzzle game. So let's start with the first puzzle and let's turn around. Okay. Here we have the body of the tiger. And you can see our tiger is here. And here is the small part of his face. So we can connect them together like this. Great. And let's take the next one. Okay. And here who we have? Here we have the butterfly. And we need to place somewhere on the side this puzzle. Maybe we can connect with other things. Let's think. And I think here we have the background that matches with this one. So we can combine them together. Right? Like this. Great. Well done. So we need to think where we can combine this ones. And it seems that this one could go here because here we have the piece of the parrot and it's a green, right? So we need to turn around them like this. And we have here two flowers, right? And we can connect them like this. So we can connect the parrot and we can connect with the ladybug. Great, well done. And who we have here? Here we also have some kind of animal, but we need to find out. So let's continue with next puzzle. And the next puzzle that we're gonna take gonna be this one. And let's turn around. And here we have the tail of the tiger. And where else we have tail of the tiger? Maybe here? Yes, so we can place it like this. Great, we're completing this puzzle really fast. So the next one puzzle gonna be this. Let's turn around. Okay, so here we have again, you can see that here we have the leg of the parrot. And here is the tree that the parrot is sitting. And here is another leg. So this puzzle piece goes right here. Great, well done. And the next one puzzle, the last one, gonna be this one. So let's see where we can place it. And here we have the blue color and the light orange color, right? And let's see where it could go. Um, and maybe I think it could go here because here is the three lines and here is the line. So maybe we can connect. Let's try. Great. Well done. So let's continue with our shapes. So here we have the orange shape and orange shape only has one hole. So let's try to match. Here we have blue shapes and orange. Does it match? No. Let's go down. Does it match with orange? This one. Yes. Great. Well done. And the next shape that we have is the blue shape and it has four holes. One, two, three and four. Great. And let's try to match with our shapes. Does it match with this shape? Actually, it does match with this shape. So let's place it on top. And the next one, we have the numbers. So we have number 10. And you can see it's a blue shape. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, we are making the penguin pretty happy. And the next one, we have the number three. And it's an orange shape. So let's count. One, two, and three. Great. We completed almost this number puzzle. And let's continue with the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the brown crayon. Let's shake it and open it. Great. And we have different puzzle pieces. So let's count how many puzzle pieces we have. We have one, two, three and four. We have four puzzle pieces. So let's start with the corner puzzle piece. Let's turn around and here we have the leaf, right? And here we can see that we have the part of the green parrot. So it could go right here. So we need to move away this one 
and here we have the small piece of the eye and do like this rain and here we have the wing of the butterfly and we can place it right here fit it here great let's continue with the next one so let's turn around and let's see mm, here we have the flower and we can see that there is the part of the butterfly and here is the bamboo tree right so let's try to place maybe here like this great and the next one let's turn around here is the body of the animal that we don't know yet who that who it is so let's turn around but here we can see we have a red flower and where we have the red flower we have it here and here so this one is already done so but this one is still needs a parts so i think it could go right like this and also we have here the tail of the tiger so let's try great well done we almost completed this puzzle and the piece that we have is the eyes of that animal so who that is let's let's see and i think this puzzle piece should go here because also here is the red part of the flower and it is the elephant great and the elephant has the big blue ears great and the big eyes well done so we only need to fill those empty spaces to complete our puzzle. Let's continue with our shape. So the shape that we have here is the red shape and it has five holes. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's try to match. Does it match with this one? No, let's move it down. Does it match with orange one? No, so, so let's move it down. Does it match with yellow one? No. Does it match with red one? Yes, well done. And let's take the next one shape. And the next shape that we're gonna take gonna be the green one. And let's count. One, two, three. It has three holes, right? Let's place it. Does it match with blue? No. Can it go here? No. Does it have two holes and it's a yellow like this? No. Is it the same as red one? No. Is it the same as green one? Yes. So let's place. Great. And next one, we have the orange shape with one hole. So let's try to match. So we have here the blue one and the orange. Does it match? No. Should go down. Does it match with this one? Yes. Great. And next one, we have the number eight red shape so let's think where we can place this and it goes right after number seven so here is number eight let's count one two three four five six seven and eight great and the next number we have is number one pink color so where could go number one it always starts with number one like this great and the last crayon that we have is the pink crayon and it has a lot of things there inside so let's open wow so many shapes and numbers and puzzles so let's take the shapes first and let's count one two three great and we only need three puzzle pieces so let's turn around and here we have the big and mighty leaf and here you can see we have the leg of the elephant great so let's try to place it down here like this amazing and the next one we have it's again leaves and also it's a blue air of the elephant and the tree so it go would go here great and the last one this is our last puzzle piece let's turn around yes and it's a tail of the parrot and where could go the tail of the parrot yes it go go here amazing we've completed our puzzle you're we are doing so amazing because we are completing all this puzzle games in no time so let's go through the shapes so the next shape that we have 
is the red shape and it has five holes. It has one, two, three, four and five. Great, let's match. Does it match with blue? No. Does it match with orange? No. Is it same as yellow one? No, it's a red. Is it the same as this one? Yes. So let's place like this. Great. And the next shapes that we have is orange shape and it has one hole, right? So let's try to match. Let's go here. Does it match with blue? No. Does it match with orange? Yes. Great, well done. And next one, we have the blue shape and blue shape has four holes. One, two, three and four. Great. And let's try. Does it match with blue? Yes. Great, we've completed all our shapes. So we have green shape, we have red shape, we have yellow shape, we have orange shape and we have blue shape. Well done. And let's continue with numbers. So the next number that we're gonna take gonna be the number two. And it is heart shape. You see, it's a heart and it's a red color shape. So where we can place the number two? Yes, it goes right after number one. One and two, great. And the next one, we have number nine and it's a orange shape. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great, we've completed all our puzzles. We've completed the jungle puzzle where we have the elephant, the parrot, the tiger, the butterfly, ladybug and flowers and leaves and trees. And we also completed our clock. So we have one o'clock, we have two o'clock, we have three o'clock, we have four o'clock, we have five o'clock, we have six o'clock, we have seven o'clock, we have eight o'clock, we have nine o'clock, we have 10 o'clock, and we have 11 o'clock, and the last one is 12 o'clock, right? And the penguin is pretty happy with the completion of this clock game. And then last game that we had was the shape game. We were matching the shapes. So we learned about green shape, red shape, yellow shape, orange shape, and the blue shape. Amazing, we completed all our games. Well done. Great, we just finished our first game. So let's continue with the second one, let's go. And today we're gonna learn the alphabet. And while learning the alphabet, we are going to solve our farm puzzle. And look how many farm animals we have here. Great, let's start. Oh, okay, we need to find the alphabet words and the puzzles. So let's start with the puzzles and let's try to find the corner piece puzzles. Like this, you see, it's a corner, right? Okay, and then let's find another one corner puzzle piece and another one and maybe somewhere else there is another corner. Here it is, great. Let's take all of these puzzle pieces and place it on a board. Okay, and let's turn around one by one. So let's turn around this one. So what we see here is the part of the dog house and the foot of the dog. And where do we see the dog house? Can you see? Here is in the border, we have the image of the dog house with the heart, right? So we're gonna place this puzzle piece in the corner, like this. Great. And let's take another one. Let's turn around. And who we have here? It's a bird. And it's a bird that has blue color and big eyes. And it's singing the song. And where the bird is sitting on? It's sitting on a tree. Okay, and here you can see we have a part of the head of the bird. And here we have a bird. So let's try to connect them together. Great, amazing. And let's turn around the next one. So let's see. 
And who we have here? Do you know? We have a farmer who is sitting in a tractor. In a red tractor. Great. And let's think where we can place this. Let's turn around the next one and then we can decide. Okay. And who we have here? Here we have a cat and the flowers. And here you can see we have a paws of the cat and the tail of the cat and a bit of face and a body. Okay. And here, if you look right here, we have the tail of the cat. And then if we're gonna take the puzzle piece and connect, then great, we found it. Okay, so the tractor, because it's a corner puzzle piece, and we already found the bird, the dog house and the foot of the dog and the cat, this corner puzzle piece gonna be here because it's only empty space for this one, right? Great, amazing. And then let's go to the alphabet and let's try to find the first letter of the alphabet, A. Eh, eh, okay. And here it is, it's our letter. And it's called A. And you would pronounce it as A. Great. And this letter is red color letter. And where do we should place it? Can you see the shape? Great. Well done. Let's find next one letter. And the next one letter is letter B. Okay. And B is orange color. And you would pronounce this as B. B. Great. And it goes, can you see? It goes right after the letter A, here. Great. And the next letter that we have is letter C. S, S. Okay. And where we have the letter C? Maybe this one. Let's try because it's the same shape. And yes, and letter C is yellow color letter. Okay, and the next letter that we need to find is letter D. Great, and letter D is what color? Yes, it's a green color, correct, good job. And letter D we would pronounce as D, D. So it goes right after letter C, here, like this. Great, we found four letters for our alphabet board. And let's continue with the puzzle. So the next thing that we're gonna try to find gonna be the side puzzle pieces. So by the side puzzle pieces, it means that we need to place them like this, right? So we're gonna start with this one. Okay, and to start with this one, we're gonna look at the border image. So here we have a part of the dog house. Right, so we need the next part that would be again the part of the dog house. So what we're gonna do with the puzzle pieces is that we're gonna turn around all of them. So it's gonna help us to navigate and find the right puzzle pieces for our puzzle board. Okay, right, so we turn around all the puzzle pieces. So now we need to search for the dog house. And I already can see that there is here next to this letter, we have the dog house. You see, it's the same color and here is the part of the dog, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to combine like this. Great, well done. And then let's take another puzzle piece that again gonna be the part of the dog house and a bit of tree okay maybe this one no it doesn't seem to be this one let's try another one um what could it be hmm. Hmm. okay maybe then if we can find the right puzzle for the dog house then we we see that here is the uh, dog right so we need to find the part of the dog so here you can see we have a part of the dog, the face, that we can connect together. So let's take it and let's try to bring it together. 
like this. Great. Congratulations. And then let's take another puzzle piece of the dog. So here we have another puzzle piece. So here is the body of the dog and the tail. And let's combine. And yes, so we've combined four puzzle pieces here. Okay, let's continue. So what we need to find is the part of the dog house. And let's try to search again and see where, where it could be. Okay, so we have letters here. We have other house and where it could be. Let's see, we need also the tree to be there. So it's somewhere in this place it could be found, right? Hmm. So maybe if we can find, let's just move on with other puzzle pieces, right? So here we have the part of the cat, right? So, and here we have a cat, you see? Here's the cat is smiling. So, and it's a side puzzle piece, right? So we can take this side puzzle piece and connect like that, right? And then another side puzzle piece. You see, there is the ear of the cat, right? And let's take this side puzzle piece and connect with others. Amazing. So here we have some kind of animal that we don't know yet. But here we have a part of the tractor, the wheel. So maybe if we're gonna try to find this puzzle piece, then we can connect them together. So let's see. So we need a side puzzle piece. Let's try, let's see what we have. Maybe this one, no, this one. Hmm. I think it could be this one. So here is the part of the tractor wheel and here is the part of the animal, right? We don't know yet which animal it is. So let's take it and connect. And here also you can see we have a sunflower, right? Great. So the next one, what we need to find would be the this part, right, at the bottom. So here we have a sand, right, and here we have sunflower. So let's try to find the puzzle pieces with the sand. So here is one puzzle piece, right, and here we have another animal. And, and let's try to find next one. So this is the next one maybe, right? And I think there could be another one. I think it could be this one. So here we have a part of the sunflower and here we have the animal called mouse. Okay, so let's connect and then let's take this one and connect also. Great, and another one, amazing. We almost completed this part of the puzzle, right? So the next one, it's gonna be this one. So here we have a sand and here we have the ear and the small eye of the mouse. So we can connect this together. And here we have the tail of the sheep, right? So this is animal is called sheep. So let's try to find sheep. Does this look as the sheep with the flower? Yes, it is sheep, so we can bring them together and yes well done so what we need to find here is the part of the cat eye and the ears of the mouse so it could be this one puzzle right so let's take it and try great amazing and then let's continue with our alphabet so what we have here is letter d so right after letter d which letter we have Correct, it's letter E. Uh, uh. And you would pronounce this letter as uh, uh. And then after the letter E, we have another one. But the letter E is which, wh what color is letter E? What color? Yes, correct, it, it is green color. Great, let's take the next letter. So what we have here is letter F. So it goes right right after the letter E. So it is A, B, C, D, E, and F. 
and you would pronounce it as f, 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 ray. And then it's a blue color. You see the blue color. Okay, let's try to find the next letter. So the next letter we have is letter G. And here's the letter G. Let's turn around like this. Let's place it. Great. And letter G is violet color, right? So, and letter G we pronounce as G, G, gray. So, right after the letter G, we have a letter, and you know it, letter H. And where is the letter H? Can you show me? Where is the letter H? Yes, correct. It is here. This is the letter H. Let's take the letter H and gray. And letter H is pink color letter gray okay and the next letter that we need to find is letter i right so where is the letter i can you see the letter i yes it is here here's the letter i let's take this letter and place it like this and this is red color the letter i is red color and the next one letter that we have is letter J, okay, and where is the letter J? Can you see the letter J? Yes, the letter J is here, correct. Let's take it and turn around, and letter J is orange color. Okay, let's place it. Ray, and you would pronounce this letter as J, J. Okay, so the next letter that we have is letter, after J, which letter it is? Letter K, so here it is, and it's a yellow color letter, so let's place it, and we pronounce this letter as K, K, okay, so great, we, we found the third part of the alphabet, so let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and Okay, great. So let's continue with the puzzle, right? And then move on with the alphabet. So here we have a puzzle. And let's try to find these puzzle pieces here at the top. Okay, so what we need to find is the side puzzle piece, right? So let's look at all side puzzle pieces. Let's take this one because it's a side puzzle piece and let's place it here. Let's take another one this one and let's place it here we have here the rooster right here is another puzzle piece that we can take right and here is another one so we found four puzzle pieces and then let's connect them together so this is the face of the cow great and here we have the part of the tree where the bird is sitting so let's connect them great well done Let's take the ear of the cow and the, and the rooster, right? Let's connect them together. Great. And here is another part of the rooster and the windmill. Okay, so let's take this and great, amazing. And then the last one, we have a part of the tractor, right? Great, and the barn, right? So this is called a barn. Great, we found the top piece for the board. So we have four, we have found pieces here for this top side. So then we need to find those two puzzle pieces for this side. So here you can see, here's the part of the dog house, and here's the part of the tail of the cow and the flower. So maybe let's try this to connect. Like the, and here is the part of the tree. So let's connect. Great, well done. So what we need to find is the part of the tree, the part of the cow, and fit this puzzle piece here. So we need a side puzzle piece. And where it could be? Let's see. This one? No. This one? No. Okay, so I think it's this one. So if we're gonna turn around, Yes, and then place it here and push 
spray and this is called sunflower amazing so let's continue with our alphabet right and let's revise what we learned previous time so a b c d e f g h i j k okay so the next letter that we need to find is letter l look so let's take it turn around and it's a green color letter and let's place it here amazing so the next letter that we need to find gonna be the letter m M, and the letter m is green color and we're gonna place it right here right after the letter m it always go the letter m okay and the next letter do you know the next letter it's letter n n so where is the letter n can you see yes it's here correct it's a blue color letter so let's take this letter and let's turn around and place it great we're moving really fast with alphabet and you're doing really great so the next letter that we need to find is letter o and where is the letter o yes it is here and it's a violet color and o we pronounce as o o okay so let's place it here and the next letter that we need to find is letter p okay let's take the letter p here it is p let's turn around and it is the pink color letter right so let's place it like this great and let's move on with the puzzle piece so what we need to find is the missing puzzle pieces from here but right now it's gonna be easier because we already found the side puzzle pieces the corner puzzle pieces and we need just to find the missing ones so let's take this one so here we can see the part of the goose okay and the part of the tractor and here's the face of the goose so let's connect them together and the barn okay great let's take the next one here is the legs of the cow let's take it and great well done and then let's take let's try to find the body of the cow here so here is the body of the cow the bell and the mouth of the cow so let's connect great amazing and then the next one what we need to find gonna be the rabbit look here is the rabbit and here is the part of the rabbit the legs so let's try to connect yes great and then the next one is gonna be the ears of the rabbit here's the ears of the rabbit let's take it and yes so we only need to find three pieces let's bring those three pieces together right so this is the last pieces that we need to connect so here is the part of the goose and here is the goose so let's ray and here what we have is the head of the sheep and the part and the nose of the rabbit okay let's take it and press it great and the last one is the barn with the windows let's take it and great we've completed the wall farm puzzle piece great let's go for the alphabet and let's revise this is a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o b and the way that we pronounce those letters are a, b, s, d, e, f, g, f, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p. And then the next letter that we're gonna find gonna be the letter Q. So this is the Q with the tail, right? The letter with the tail. And it's a red color letter. Okay, great. It 
goes right after the letter B. And the next letter, do you know what next letter it is? It's letter R. Okay, let's take the letter R. And it's an orange color. Let's place it gray. And the next letter is letter S. And the way that we pronounce letter S is S. S. Okay, let's take this letter. Okay, and it's a yellow color, right? So right after the letter S, what letter we have is letter T. And here's the letter T. And it's a green color letter. Okay, great. And the way that we pronounce the letter T is T. T. And the next letter after the letter T, we have the letter U. Okay, let's take the letter U. Okay, and it's a green color letter too. So, right after the letter U, we have the letter V. Let's try to find. Here's the letter V. And the way that we pronounce letter V is V. And the letter V is blue color letter. Great. And the next letter that we have is letter W. And it's a violet color. Okay, let's take the letter W and Ray. And we only need to find three letters. Okay, and it's letter X, like this, and it's a pink color. It's letter Y, it's a red color, Y, great. And the last one is letter Z, Z. Okay, let's turn around again. It's an orange color. So we found all alphabet letters. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great. And here we have our farm animal puzzle. We have the farmer, the tractor, the goose with the crown, we have a cat, we have a sunflowers here, we have a mouse, we have a sheep with a flower, we have a dog, the dog house, the dog food, we have a cow with the bell, we have a sunflower again, the tree, the bluebird, we have a rooster sitting on the top of the barn house and we have a rabbit. Great, we've completed the puzzle and the alphabet. Well done, see you in the next video. Oh wow, this second game was spectacular. Okay, so it's time for the game number three. Let's go. Today we gonna search for the puzzles and we gonna solve the squirrel puzzle with the mama squirrel and with the baby squirrel and we also gonna solve the puzzle with the mama elephant and baby elephant so let's start Chat those colorful crayons here wow so i think those puzzles are inside those crayons look at them mm. so maybe let's start to open those crayons and we have the green crayon so let's take and open it let's shake like this and then open wow so many things we have here interesting okay we have four puzzle pieces one two three and four and we also have numbers and wheels but let's start with the puzzle pieces let's turn around the first one and what we have here here we have the elephant the body of the elephant the ear of the elephant and the eye of the elephant so let's look at this image here at the small one and we can see that this puzzle piece is somewhere in the middle of this board so let's maybe place like this then let's open the next one what we have here here we have a squirrel 
rocket next to the fire. Okay, let's see where the squirrel fire. It's somewhere, I think, a bit down, right? So it's not in the middle. Great. Let's take the next puzzle, what we have here. Here we have the ear of the elephant. And I already see that we can connect them. Do you think that we can connect this one with this puzzle? Like this? Let's try. And yes, great. You're doing amazing. And let's take the next puzzle piece. And this is the corner puzzle piece. So let's turn around and see. And here we have a tree that's full of apples. Great. And can we see the tree that's full of apples here? Where the squirrel, right? Here is a tree full of apples. And here we have the tree. So it's in the left top corner like this. Great. And let's look at the numbers. So here we have the number four. Amazing. And let's place this number here, right? So, and then we have five wheels. So we need to count them. One, two, three, four, and this one, five. Great. So these five wheels are for number five. Great. Let's continue. It's really interesting. So the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the blue one crayon. Let's shape and let's open. Wow. Look how many things we have here. So we have the puzzle pieces, numbers, and the wheels. Let's start with puzzle pieces. So here we have first, second, third, and fourth. One, two, three, four. Let's turn around this one and see what we have here. And here we see that we have the tail of mama squirrel and tail of the baby squirrel. And let's look where we can place this puzzle. Let's look at the small image. Yes. And, it, and I think we should place somewhere here because it's in a side puzzle piece, we should place somewhere on the side. Let's maybe leave it like this. Great. Okay. Let's continue. So the next puzzle piece that we're gonna turn around gonna be the... Okay, it's a baby squirrel and it's a corner puzzle piece. So let's look at the small image and let's look at this. You see there is the baby squirrel in the corner. And here we also have the tail of a baby squirrel. So let's try to connect them like this. Great, amazing. We just connected the two puzzle pieces. Great, it's marvelous. Let's continue with the next puzzle pieces. So let's turn around. Oh, here we have the leg of the elephant that's standing on the river. And it's a corner puzzle piece. So let's look at the small picture. Here is the leg and here is the river and here is the corner puzzle piece. So where it should go? It should go in a corner like this. Because it's a corner puzzle piece, it should go in a corner, right? Great. Let's open the last puzzle piece for this crayon. So here we have the eyes of the baby elephant. Great. Let's take this puzzle piece and let's see where we can place it. Here we have the eyes of the baby elephant and here we have a small part of the tree. Great. Let's try to place maybe here, somewhere. Okay, let's continue with the numbers. So here we have the number and it's called number five. And it's a blue color. So number five goes after the number four. So we have number four and then number five. Great, and here we have five wheels, right? So let's count them together. One, two, three, four, and five. So those, these wheels represent the number five. Okay, let's gather them together. Okay, like this, amazing. Okay, let's take the next. The next one we have is number eight, and it's also blue color. So number eight, I think it should go somewhere here, right? So we still need to find number six and number seven. Okay, let's count the wheels together. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. We have here nine wheels. Can we look at the numbers? And do we have the number nine here? No, we don't have it. We still need to find this number. Okay, let's place these wheels like, like this. And let's open the new crayon. Okay, so let's open the crayon that is orange crayon. Okay. Wow, so many things here that we need to go through. So we have again a lot of puzzle pieces and we have number and wheels. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. So let's turn around them. We have one, two, three and four puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's try to turn around this one. Okay, here we have the eyes of the mama squirrel. And let's look at the image where we have the eyes of the mama squirrel. Yes, on the top. So we can connect those two puzzle pieces like this. So we connected three puzzle pieces so we can see the mama squirrel face. Great. And let's take the next one, what we have here. Oh, again, it's a body of this mama squirrel and the tail of mama squirrel. And when, where we can place, let's look. Can we look at the image? Can you see where we can place this? Yes, right. You're really right because we can place it right here. Great. And let's continue with the next ones. And next ones, let's turn around. And here we have again the legs of the elephant. And here is a bit of the rock. So let's look at the small image. Where is the legs? And where is the rock? You see, it's at the bottom. So let's take our puzzle piece and move down at the bottom. Like this. And let's connect them together. So we're gonna connect the body of the elephant and the legs of the elephant. Okay, let's do it. And yes, nice. And then maybe let's try to connect those two, right? Together like this. And then move to the left side. Great. And let's turn around this one. What we have here? Oh, we have here the head of the elephant and the part of the eye, you see? So we can place this somewhere on the top right because there is also the cloud here right like this great and let's look at our number so what number we have here is number seven so let's take number seven and place before the eight so we're gonna count four five here should be six right then after six goes seven and eight nice well done so let's look at those wheels. How many wheels we have here? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have here eight wheels. And where do you think we should place them? Let's look, we have eight. So it represents the number eight. So those wheels here, we're gonna place them like this because we have them eight. Great, amazing. And let's put them like this. And then also, let's put the number five wheels like this, right? So there is five wheels. Great, we found four numbers. So we have four, five, and we need to find six, seven, eight, right? Okay, mm -hmm. let's continue with the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open, gonna be the yellow crayon. Let's look at this and shake it. Wow, so many things here. So we have again puzzles, numbers and wheels. And let's start with the puzzle pieces. So we have three puzzle pieces, one, two and three. Let's open this one. Okay, so this is the corner puzzle piece. And again, this is the tail of the squirrel, right? And where we should place this tail? Let's think together. We should place somewhere on this puzzle board, right? Here is the tail. Here is the tail of the squirrel and it's a corner puzzle piece. And there is the tree so we can place it like this. Great! We are completing this puzzle so quickly. Let's open this one and what we have here, mama elephant and baby elephant, right? So we need to place this puzzle piece here. Let's do and see. I think it's gonna connect like this, right? 
So we have the ba baby elephant and mama elephant. Great, well done. And the last puzzle piece in this crayon is, again, it's a squirrel that's sitting next to the fire. Okay, let's take it. And I think it should be somewhere at the bottom because you can see that the fire is at the bottom. So let's take and push it down and then try to connect them like this. Okay, because the squirrel is cold and she needs this fire. Great, let's continue with the numbers. So the next number that we're gonna look at is gonna be number three. Amazing, and let's look where we can place this. So number three goes right after the number four. No, because right after the number four, we have number five. So the number three goes before number four here. Great. And let's take the wheels. So we have here three wheels. One, two, and three. And it's a yellow color wheels. Okay, let's take them and let's place beneath the number three, like this. Great, and let's look at number four, right? There is, because there is a four wheels and let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Great, and let's take those wheels and let's move them to the number four, like this. And let's try to combine them, right? Put them on top of each other. Great, well done. And let's also, we have here, we need to fix those wheels. We need to place them, right? So we have here eight wheels. Okay, we need to take it slowly like that. Great, amazing. So let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the brown or maybe red. Okay, let's open red. Oh, we have here numbers and wheels, right. And let's take the puzzle pieces and let's count them. One, two, and three. And let's turn around this one. What we have here, what you can see, is it a fire? Yes, it's a fire, you are right. And let's place this fire in a corner, right? So we can connect the fire, other piece with the fire, with this one. Great, we almost completed this puzzle. And let's continue with other puzzle pieces. What we have here, let's turn. And here we have the tail of the mama elephant and small flowers. So let's look at the picture here and we can see that there is the flower and the tail. Okay, let's connect like this. Great, well done. And let's look at the next puzzle piece and what we have here let's turn around and see we have here rocks river and the leg of the mama elephant and the leg of the baby elephant so let's take and we can place it at the bottom like this great well done so then we should look at the numbers what number we have here number one and it's a red color where we should place the number one let's look it should go right after three. No, it should be the first number. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. Okay, great. And let's move these wheels beneath the number eight. Okay, and let's look at the next number. What number we have? It's number, you know, you know it. It's number two, great. Let's move it before number one here. No, it should be after the number one. Great. We almost completed our number puzzle. So then let's take the pink wheels and let's count them, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and six, we have six of them. So this is for the number six, but do we have the number six right now? Can you see the number six? No, we need still to find it. Okay, let's go with the other wheel. So here we have three wheels, but I think one wheel is for number one and two wheels is for number two. So let's take those wheels and let's 
place it underneath the number two. So there is two wheels, right? And let's take this wheel and place it underneath the number one. Great. The next one that we're gonna do is gonna be the brown. Let's open. Wow, we have puzzle pieces and number and wheels. Let's start with puzzle pieces, okay? Let's look at them, what we have here. Let's turn around and, oh, here we have the tree. And let's look at the image where we have the tree. We have here the tree, right? You see in the corner, the small tree. So we're gonna place and connect with the cloud like this. Great, amazing. So then let's take the next puzzle piece and let's turn what we have here. Let's look, we have baby squirrel and mama squirrel. Okay, let's take, and we have also small flowers. Let's take this puzzle piece and let's put it at the bottom like this. Great. Let's take the next puzzle piece and turn around and see what we have here. Wow. Here we can see that this is the ear and the tail of the mama squirrel. Okay, let's take it and let's see where we can place it. I think it should be at the top. If you look at the small image picture, you can see that it goes like this. Great, amazing, congratulations, well done. So then let's move to the number. And what number it is? It's number 10, great. Let's place it here. So we have number eight, and then it goes number nine, and get, then it goes number 10. Great, and let's count the wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We have 10 wheels. So let's gather them together and place on top of each other, right? And then move to the number 10, right? like this. Okay, we're almost done. Let's do it really patiently. Great. And let's continue with the last crayon that we have. It's pink crayon, right? Let's open. And we have here the numbers, the wheels and the puzzle pieces. Okay, let's start with the puzzle pieces. We have three puzzle pieces. One, two and three. Okay. Let's take them and let's see. So let's turn around this one, what we have here. Oh, we have here the pink flowers and white flowers. And let's see where we can place this. And I think it should be here because this is the last piece for the squirrel. And we're gonna complete this puzzle. Great, amazing, well done. Let's take the next one. What we have here, let's turn around. And here we have baby elephant and flowers. And let's look where we have the baby elephant, right? And here we have it, it's a corner piece and it's a baby elephant. Let's move and press like this. Yes, we almost completed the elephant puzzle. And the last piece, it's gonna be, it's a ear of the elephant and the flowers. And let's look where we can place it and it's a last space empty space where we can put this puzzle piece like this great amazing and then let's take the numbers so what number we have here we have six and nine right so this is six and this is nine so let's take the number six and place right after number five right great okay and then Let's take the number nine and place it right after the number eight. Great, we've completed all the numbers. So let's count the wheels. How many wheels we have here, right? So here we have six wheels and I already see that we have six wheels. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna take this and place underneath the number six, like this. Great. Okay, let's take the, so how many wheels we have here? Let's count. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have here nine wheels and let's try to place them on top of each other. And it's really sometimes hard to place them on top of each other. So we need to be really patient. 
right? So one by one, we are doing this and we try to focus on it, right? Like this, we almost build that pyramid of wheels. Great, amazing, well done. We've completed two puzzles. We completed the squirrel puzzle, with where is the mama squirrel and baby squirrel sitting next to the fire camp. And there we have the tree with the apples and we have flowers, we have grass, we have sky. Amazing, wow, so, so interesting to was to try to find those puzzle pieces for this puzzle game. So great. And let's continue with the elephant. And here we have a mama elephant, baby elephant. And mama elephant is washing the baby elephant with the shower. Great from your nose. <laughs> and then we have the cloud, we have tree, we have river, we have rocks, we have again flowers. Great, we've completed those two puzzles really quickly. You're doing great. And then let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, you know, ten. Congratulations, we've completed all the puzzles. Wow, those three games were amazing and awesome. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.